Hi, people, it's Killer J here, and today, yes, Life is Strange video game review. Yes, we're back. Alright, so, we're gonna get into the action today, and so far, we're gonna be uh, reviewing this game. So, the developer of this game is Donut Entertainment. They had a responsibility of that Remember Me game that was public, had something to do, has uh, their hand in with Capcom. Oh, excuse me. Uh, publisher Square Enix. So, Square Enix had their hand in this game because Square Enix were known for the Final Fantasy games and stuff like that. Release on PC, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One. It was released for those P for release for those consoles. It is a graphic adventure game. It has similar elements of the Telltale games. It has similar elements because it has the the branching paths of story and how it affects your overall playthrough of this game slash walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. Your overall generalization of the game. So the mode is a single player basis game. All right. So a single player game, as well as the, as well as some interesting mechanics. The engine of the the engine of this game that is done on is the Unreal Engine number three. That's the engine. So all right. The limited edition features an art book. You get an art book with the physical version, the soundtrack score, the, the overall audio, and a director's commentary. So basically, you get this version with the PC version the Xbox One version, and the PlayStation 4 version. But right now, I'm reviewing the Xbox One version because uh, I try to get it for the PS4, and, and, and this happens to me, I can't get it on the PS4, so... Another review on the Xbox One, so... It is what it is, I guess. So, basically... Basically, the gameplay is you're walking around, interacting with characters, talking, interacting with objects, and you have this power, like a rewinding power, you rewind time in certain events, and overall do anything you can in the game to uh, progress and stuff like that. You look for clues, you uh, find out what's going on to the game, you'll find out what's going on to the story and stuff like that. So, anyway. Life is Strange takes place during the week of Oct the 7th of October 2013 and is told from the perspective of Maxine Crawfield and Attell a 12th grade student of Blackwell, of Blackwell Academy in the fictional town of Arcadia Bay, Oregon. The prologue begins with Max thrown into a vision of the lighthouse, destroyed by a swelling tornado. She awakens instantly in the class of her teacher, Mark Jefferson, Derek Phillips. To restore her composure, she proceeds to the restroom there with witness the murder of, the, of a girl. In a single sudden effort, she rewinds time and has moved back into the classroom from before, informed of the following outcome. She hurries off to rescue the, the girl, using her recently discovered, recently developed ability, and is the, re revealed that that the person Max saved was their childhood best friend, Chloe Price. So, alright. Basically, Chloe's been her best friend for a long time. They, Max was away from Chloe. She was in Seattle and stuff like that. Basically, she got back to see Chloe and stuff like that. She's a student of the Blackwell Academy. She's basically a photographer, and she takes pictures and stuff like that. Basically, what the kids call them these days is selfies, but there are pictures. Same, same difference. So, basically, uh, alright, so... The references in the game, you you will get them if you're fans of horror movies and stuff like stuff like that. You will catch the reference of Friday the Thirteenth, Planet of the Apes, and uh, Campbell Holocaust. Campbell Holocaust was a fucked up movie indeed. So all right, let's get on to the game, so shall we? So the game is pretty good for what it is. It's pretty good for overall replay value. It's been a good experience. It's been pretty good. I've actually, been enjoying this game so far. It's been pretty good overall. Overall, the characters in this game, Frank is one of the characters into this game. He's a drug deal, basically, because he's one of the characters you interact with in the story. And basically, the story is you have different branching paths, you have different choices, how, how it affects the game's outcome and stuff like that. You have a lot of stuff because the characters, you interact with them in the story. There's other ways of doing things, too. There's a lot of a lot of pretty interesting things into this game. I actually enjoy it. And actually, the the cutscenes are very good. They're not the cutscenes. This game lets you lets you uh, enjoy the story because the story is good for this game because it actually is one of the better games I've reviewed so far. It actually will be in, it's an interesting game and it's overall a pretty satisfying game. It's very enjoyable. So 
what you get with your what you get with this game is a very good package for forty dollars. So if you can get the game at a pr good price, get it because this game deserves a play. This game deserves your time and effort. Because this game is one of the best games I've played so far. It is a very awesome game. <coughs> Very good characters, very good acting, and very awesome, ref cool references. And you, you'll get some of the stuff if you play through the game, and you overall will get the characters and how how it interacts, how you interact with the characters and stuff like that. So basically, David is Chloe's stepfather into the game because her Chloe's dad died in a car accident, you know, stuff like that. And Joyce is the mother of Chloe. That's the two characters you interact with. You interact with Mark Jefferson, the teacher of the game. So. You interact with him, your best friend Chloe, you interact with her, you interact with Kate as well, you interact with Kate as well, she's, uh, you know, one of the other characters in the game and stuff like that. You interact with Victoria, another one, you interact with Victoria into this game, you interact with her. Warren is another character you interact with, Warren's like her be like uh, Max's best friend, he, you know, he helps her out and, he, you know, he, you know he's, like, he stands up for her after he's, uh, he's an interesting character, he's pretty interesting, Warren, pretty good character. The acting is very good in this game because you know how the, you know how the acting is. The acting is pretty good. It sets the tone of this game. It's very enjoyable. Re the replay value is very high for this one. This is one of the best games I reviewed so far in 2016. So interesting enough. You hope you guys enjoy this Life and Strange game review. So you will get a full-on experience because you'll find out what happens in the game. This is one of the scenes in the game you're sneaking into the school. Trying to find out what's going on, stuff like that. And basically, it's a pretty good game. Overall, replay value is good. The sound's good. Uh, composed from different indie bands and stuff like that. You know, you get the soundtrack and stuff like that. You get the graphics are pretty good. The gameplay is good. Uh, the overall enjoyment of, of this game is pretty good. You'll get a kick out of this game. You'll enjoy it because the, the story sucks you in into, into, the, into the feel of the game because it is very interesting. So it is a pretty good game, actually. Uh, actually, what else can I say about it? There, like, I can reveal some more story points. There, uh, you're sure Chloe's looking for Rachel. She ends up uh, this basically a search for Rachel and trying to find out what's going on. And basically, you find Rachel in a junkyard, buried into the game because it is a very touching scene. There's a scene where, as well as well in the junkyard, as in the other junkyard, you're uh, shooting bottles with Chloe. To use your rewind power as well, you know but that is an interesting scene. So you basically get a lot of replay value. Get you take photos in this game. This game deserves like multiple playthroughs because it 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 changes every time. Is it it changes up the variety of this game because it is pretty good for what it is. It is what what you get close to a very good game overall replay value enjoyment. It's there. It's there for what it, what it needs to be because this game has a very good feel, very good graphics, very good gameplay because the rewind mechanic is interesting because it rewinds time you can get in certain areas you couldn't get into before with the rewind mechanic. So, like, fuck, man, this is awesome. Badass fucking game, I'm telling you. All right, let's get on to that. Basically, okay, Chloe, uh, basically Max, this is one of the episodes where Max talks to Chloe and then she finds out that Chloe is in a wheelchair and she can't move. Basically, this alternates the event if you save Chloe's dad, basically, into the story. This is what happens if you save Chloe's uh, father into the story. Basically, you have to do a lot of, of gameplay here because this is one of the interesting games I've played so far. Overall, pretty good overall. It is the one of the best games I reviewed. and I gotta say, man, I gotta say, this is pretty good. So basically, this is a scene here. You're standing up to a bully. And then that's uh, Nathan. Nathan, the the asshole, basically, the story. You gotta be careful for him. Oh, shit. Watch this. Watch this. Boom! So, while I'm gonna give my rating of this game, I give this game a 10 out of 10. This is a very good game. This is very one of the best games I played. Overall enjoyable. Replay value is good. Uh, it's one of the best games. I uh, just what what is there to say about? What else is there to say about that? Uh, find out that Mark Jefferson is ends up being the guy that uh, kidnaps the girls and takes photographs of them. Basically, that's the at around the end restaurant episode five because he he drugs Max he drugs uh, 
Chloe and stuff like he drugs that Max and stuff like that. He's he's a very sick individual there. I'm telling you. That's basically episode five. That's a little detail point. All right, this is Killer J here, and I hope you enjoyed this Life is Strange video game review. I hope you enjoy. Peace out, and uh, if you're looking for more game reviews, uh, let me know in the comment section. All right, bye, people.